Okay, everyone, for uh, Texas A&M, to my right and you all's left side, uh, head coach Rob Childress, first baseman Hunter Coleman, and pitcher John Doxakis. Uh, coach, we'll let you begin with an opening statement, and then we'll open it up to the room uh, for questions for our student-athletes. Well, certainly a disappointing loss for us, and um, you know, told the team before we started this. When you get to the postseason, you know, the, each week is built for you to have a bad day. If you have two, your season's over. And, and for us, that was today. But give Duke a lot of credit. Their hitters did a very good job competing and, and battling and, and moving the baseball every time we made a mistake. Had a shot in the first inning to cash in. Two runners on, bunt them over. Our four or five coming up, and we're not able to score. Uh, but it's awful hard to overcome two, three run homers. Uh, Docs competed his tail off, was outstanding for three, and, and made a, two or three mistakes there in the fourth inning, and Duke capitalized on it. And But in, in typical fashion, Docs gets us through seven and you know gave us a shot and had it four to one, and, and we're not able to hold it behind him out of the bullpen, and, and they put together another good inning in the eighth. Questions for Hunter or John? Hunter, I know you guys don't want to be in the, the position where you have to win out now, but was that ninth inning helpful? You came in one run in 26 innings. Finally, something started happening there. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think it's a shot of confidence for our offense. We've uh, been struggling a, li a little bit, but just kind of go in and take something from them and uh, give us kind of a little momentum going into tomorrow when uh, we're our back against our backs against the wall. I think it's definitely going to help. John, as as coach said, really just the, the fourth inning was was really the only damage that they were really able to do against you. You know, when you throw six really good innings and just the one bad inning, kind of take me through that. I mean, you you recovered very well, but I'm sure that one inning will probably stick with you more than the, the six good ones that you. That yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, it was just one of those innings where. Uh, I kind of got away from the scouting report we had. You know, you can't leave mistakes over the plate or else they're going to punish it. And uh, that's, that's all that happened that inning. Uh, put some really good swings on some ball and knocked it around the park. Any other questions for the student athletes? Okay, guys, thank you very much. We'll excuse you. Coach, if you could stick around for us, please. <laughs> Questions for Coach. Coach, what were your thoughts of the late rally? Well, that's the, you know the question that was asked. It's exactly what I said to our team after the game: is we took something from them from an offensive standpoint, left with feeling good, and hopefully that'll carry into two o'clock's game tomorrow. Coach, whether it is Fordham or West Virginia that you guys played, do you have any? thoughts on either of those teams or uh, any challenges that they've presented? Well, there's two really, really, really good teams. And obviously, Fordham has our utmost respect. We opened the season with them. And you know, Coach Layton and his staff do a wonderful job. They had a great year, outstanding tournament last week to punch your ticket. And they have our respect. And got had the opportunity to watch West Virginia in the tournament last week. And whether I did or didn't, I know what Coach Maisie coached teams. Are, are capable of doing and, and they're hard to deal with. So we've got our hands full with regardless who we play at 2 o'clock tomorrow. The, the inning that, that John, how, how surprising. And I mean, you know, he cruises basically through through the other six innings to have that one inning happen like that. Surprising? Uh, yeah, without question. Uh, you know, he has been our unquestioned leader all year long and will continue to be. And, you know, got off to a great start first time through the lineup. And, and like I said, made a few mistakes, left some balls up out over the plate. and. You know, they capitalized on him. It wasn't, you know, if it was three singles, we minimized the damage. But, you know, the big crushing blow was was the home run. What are you seeing from your hitters, obviously, before the ninth inning, still kind of struggling to get a run across? Had we cashed in in the first inning, maybe it's a completely different story. And it's like, here we go again after the first. Like, you kind of felt that, since that. And, you know, let their guy settle in a little bit. And he did a nice job and got them through seven. And, uh, but for us taking something from them there in the ninth inning, hopefully that'll carry over to tomorrow. Coach, for, uh, for Duke, uh, their starting pitcher, Gross, uh, had kind of struggled a little bit coming in, but obviously worked pretty well today. What did you see from well, There's the not a whole lot he hasn't seen. I mean, he's, he's a graduate transfer and has, has been their guy and, and done a nice job. And he just battled. And when his back was against the wall, I mean, he made pitches when he had to. He's able to elevate the fastball and use enough of his secondary stuff to get out of some jams. He has some quick innings there in the fifth, sixth, was able to you know get them into the seventh, which 
I don't know if Chris would say he thought he was going to get seven out of him early in the game, but he did a nice job there in the middle innings just being efficient. You've been through these battles many times, so as a coach, what, what do you have to change going through the, the other half of the bracket as well, far as? It's all about tomorrow, and that's our focus is the 2 o'clock game tomorrow. We've got to be at our very best and just find a way to win and you know do our, fight to get to Sunday. And you know once you get to Sunday, anything can happen. Don't have time to feel sorry for ourselves. Will it be ASA tomorrow? It will, yep. You say you don't have time to feel sorry. Speaking of not having a lot of time, but in a tournament setting like this, how tough is it to scout? Well, there's been a lot of different things come out, come available to you know college baseball. So the preparation is a little bit easier now than maybe it was three or four years ago, especially when you're playing teams all around the country. So it is a little bit easier opportunity to, to be prepared for a four-team tournament than it has been two or three years ago.